today. From Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the New Orleans Saints. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. First down, it's Carr. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He was locked in. Two trips to the end zone, Charles, over 100 yards receiving. How about the combination of route running, confidence going downfield, and the ability to go up and get the football? You're exactly right. It was hard for them to stop him. First carry now for Alexander Madison. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Madison get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? I mean, let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he's taken down here by the Saints. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Meanwhile, Carr's throw complete here to Waller. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle him, they go down. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Deron Payne gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This will be fielded at the 17. 
A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And he's had good success here already this season throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. On first and ten. Well, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Along Nichols. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now here's a throw. It's complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. time to his left and he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield that's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him and if you're not going to use a spy you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that all he does is hurt you have to at least be able to contain him somewhat there they could not Steps away to his left, and he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Behind the chain, second and 12. They'll set up a throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down they'll look to throw being chased out left and that is incomplete oh he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground and fourth down now coming up Brandon we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week and nothing has changed they're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. 
Carr's throw pulled in by Renfro. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. To the 40 and no further. So the razzle-dazzle didn't get him much. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Vegas. The homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. On the toss, Madison. And some space here. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 57 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. When you see a big-time run to the outside, it always comes back to setting the edge, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, and they, they were perfect in setting the edge there. And the funny part is, both sides of the ball talk about it. The offense has to set the edge so you can get outside. The defense wants to set the edge to control things so they can kick the run back inside. Offense wins there. The offense won big. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside and finished off the runner for a loss. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Card out of throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's a letdown defensively because they had him stacked up third and long, and you know their thought process had to be. Just make the tackle in front of the sticks and force the three. Instead, they allowed him room to run, and now they're facing first and goal. And he's not able to get away. Sacks back at the 22. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. That's caught by Waller out left side. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Carlson able to put this one through, and the Raiders jump out to a 3 nothing advantage. Been a bit of a dogfight thus far into the second quarter now, and we do have our first points, a field goal. Yeah, a lot of people say, wow, first action on the scoreboard, about time to me. The action's been right there on the field, trying to figure out who can gain an advantage, gain some field position, finally get points on the board. I'm loving this kind of game. <laughs> it feels like kickers might play a big role in this one. Yes, make sure you give them the respect they deserve. They could cost you a game or win you one. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Into the secondary, past the 40. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have taken the lead. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Lutz good on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow. The setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. The Raiders on third down. Just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Throwing his car on third down. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. The completion good for only six. And that'll bring up fourth. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Now Kamara, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Second and 13. He'll get this one complete to Davis. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. So we have reached half. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Saints to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They start the second half with Camaro, and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 93 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So pass interference the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn. to a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now a second down and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Saints take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky high. You just mentioned it. Tight window. Zings it in there despite excellent coverage. Result, touchdown. Lutz with the extra point, And that pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive, four plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Second and seven. <laughs> Throwing now is Carr. Oh, well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Car now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Here's second and ten. Now they'll run on the draw. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Here's Carr. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. 
This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards just short of the line to gain. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. He'll drop to throw. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. A big-time play there for New Orleans. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Throw right side caught by Davis. Seven yards to pick up there. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Second and three. Caught right side, Davis. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Again, he'll drop to throw. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Tyus Bowser credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Back to throw. On the slant, he's got Davis. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll drop to throw. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On the counter, here's Kamara. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? <laughs> Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Again, Kamara, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign.
So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Throwing again on second down. Carr caught out right by Renfro. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Saints' hands team able to rein this one in. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking in an outside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And now they're in the hurry up. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Second down in inches. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Max Crosby drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Well, every now and then you just absolutely outguess yourself. Third and inches, and they decide not to run the ball, you end up seeing the end result. The end result was not good. They elect to pass, and it backfires. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And the Raiders are right back in this football game. 
Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Car to throw. Pass complete. It's Adams. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Carr. And that's knocked away and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Carr, got to have this one. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. That game offense. Be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This one caught by Davis. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Second down at four. They'll look to throw here. And he will find Davis. That's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll keep it on the ground. Jenkins, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Saints are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Derek Carr and the Raiders set for their next possession. And after the slow start, the numbers show he has really straightened things out. How often sometimes is that that you come into a game and the defense is game-planned a little differently than you expected? 
more often than maybe people realize. So adjustments are often a big part of each and every game. And it's not just getting to halftime. It's series to series to make it work. And being able to hang in there when there's a little adversity. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Another try after the first down sack. Carr. And that is incomplete here. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Carr. And it's complete to Adams. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. On first down, Carr. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to bat it away. To throw again on second down, Carr. It's caught here by Adams. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then...